As winter's chill grips the earth, our gardens enter a fight for survival. The onset of frost, the biting wind, the frozen ground, it's a time of year that can seem bleak, yet holds a certain beauty. It's during these frosty months that our gardens need us the most. Winter plant care is not simply about enduring the cold, but about nurturing a spark of life that lies beneath the frost. A spark that, with our help, will burst into a vibrant spectacle come spring. Even in winter's depth, your garden holds a spark of life waiting for a chance to thrive. When temperatures plummet, the very essence of our plants is at risk. But understanding is the first step to protection. As the mercury drops, it's not just the chill in the air that we feel. Our plants, too, are sensitive to the cold. Just as we bundle up to protect ourselves, we must equip our green companions with the necessary defenses to weather the winter storms. So how does the cold affect our plants? Let's dive in. For starters, it's crucial to grasp the concept of frost heave. This phenomenon occurs when the soil repeatedly freezes and thaws, pushing plants and bulbs up out of the ground. This exposes their roots to the harsh winter air and can lead to desiccation or drying out. But it's not just the roots we need to worry about. The cold can also wreak havoc on a plant's cells. As temperatures drop, water inside the plant can freeze into ice crystals. These ice crystals can puncture cell walls, causing damage that may not be visible until spring when the plant fails to thrive. And let's not forget about the risk of dehydration. Yes, even in winter, plants can lose more water than they can absorb. This is especially true for evergreens, which continue to transpire or lose water through their leaves all winter long. When the ground is frozen, these plants can't take up water to replace what they've lost, leaving them at risk of winter burn. Now you might be wondering, what about snow? Isn't that good for plants? Well, you're not wrong. Snow does act as an insulator, protecting plants from extreme temperature fluctuations. However, too much snow can weigh heavily on branches, causing them to break. So, while a blanket of snow can offer some benefits, it can also pose its own threats. But it's not all doom and gloom. Understanding these threats is the first step towards safeguarding our gardens. By knowing what we're up against, we can take proactive measures to protect our plants from the cold's harsh embrace. For instance, knowing about frost heave can prompt us to mulch our gardens, providing an insulating layer that moderates soil temperature and prevents the freeze-thaw cycle. Understanding the risk of cell damage can encourage us to wrap sensitive plants, preventing the formation of ice crystals. And being aware of the risk of dehydration can remind us to water our evergreens before the ground freezes, ensuring they have enough moisture to last the winter. So yes, the cold does pose a threat to our gardens, but armed with this knowledge, we are not powerless. We can take steps to protect our plants, ensuring they not only survive the winter, but also emerge in the spring, vibrant and full of life. Knowledge is power, and now that we understand the threat, we can act to protect. Winter is coming, and with it, the need for us to shield our plants from its icy grasp. As we venture into the heart of winter, the survival of our gardens depends on the measures we take. These protective strategies are not just about survival. They're about giving our green companions the best chance to flourish when spring returns. First on our list is mulching. Picture a warm, cozy blanket on a cold winter's night. That's what mulch does for your plants. It serves as an insulating layer that protects the soil and roots from the biting cold. Organic mulch like straw or wood chips is a fantastic option. Not only do they keep the cold at bay, but as they decompose, they enrich the soil with nutrients. Remember to layer your mulch around three to four inches thick for optimal insulation. Next, consider creating windbreaks. These structures buffer your plants from the harsh winter winds, reducing the risk of windburn and desiccation. A windbreak could be a fence, a row of evergreen trees, or even a tarp stretched between two posts. The key is to place it so that it shields your most vulnerable plants from the prevailing wind direction. Wrapping sensitive plants is another effective strategy. Burlap is a popular choice for this purpose, offering protection while still allowing the plant to breathe. When wrapped around the plant, it creates a microclimate that can keep the temperature several degrees warmer than the surrounding air. For those frost tender plants, cold frames are your best bet. Imagine a mini greenhouse, a box with a clear top that traps heat from the sun and provides a warmer environment for your plants. Cold frames can be as simple or as intricate as you want them to be. From an old window placed over a wooden box to a custom built structure with automatic temperature controls. And let's not forget about watering. While it may seem counterintuitive, Watering your plants before a heavy frost can actually protect them. 
The water in the soil releases heat as it freezes, warming the surrounding area and helping to protect the roots from extreme cold. Lastly, consider using anti-desiccants. These are sprays that provide a protective coating on the leaves of evergreen plants, reducing water loss and helping to prevent winter burn. It might feel like a lot, but remember each step you take is an investment in your garden's future. Each layer of mulch, each windbreak, each wrapped plant and every cold frame adds a layer of protection, a barrier against the cold. And while we're tending to our gardens, let's not forget to enjoy the beauty of winter. The frost-kissed leaves, the morning fog, the silence of a snow-covered landscape, they all hold a unique charm. But even as we appreciate the beauty of the season, our minds are on spring. Each action we take, each protective measure, brings our garden one step closer to a thriving spring. Because the care we provide now will determine the vibrancy of our gardens when the snow melts and the first buds of spring emerge. With a little ingenuity, protecting your garden from winter's chill can be both effective and rewarding. Let's explore some DIY solutions that can make a world of difference to your plant's survival. For instance, you can use everyday household items for insulation. An old blanket or a piece of burlap can be wrapped around the base of your plants, providing a layer of warmth. Similarly, bubble wrap can be used to insulate pots and containers, keeping the soil from freezing. Another DIY solution is to create a simple plant shelter using stakes and a heavy-duty plastic sheet. This makeshift greenhouse can protect your plants from harsh winds and heavy snowfall. For those of you who love a little woodworking, constructing a cold frame can be a rewarding project. A cold frame, essentially a mini greenhouse, can provide a warm environment for your plants, shielding them from the winter chill. Now, let's move on to some success stories. Take Jane, for example, a passionate gardener from Minnesota. She ingeniously used old Christmas lights to provide warmth to her citrus trees. The result? Healthy, thriving trees that bore fruit even in the depths of winter. Then there's Sam from Colorado. He created a windbreak using recycled wood and hessian, reducing the wind chill factor for his delicate alpine plants. His garden emerged from winter, not just surviving but thriving. These stories remind us that a little creativity can go a long way in protecting our gardens. And remember, every garden is unique. What works for one may not work for another. It's all about understanding your garden's specific needs and finding innovative ways to meet them. As we wrap up, let's remember that winter care is a crucial part of gardening. It's not just about helping your plants survive the cold, but also about preparing them for the vibrant growth of spring. Your garden's winter journey can be a story of triumph, a testament to your care and dedication. So, let's brave the cold, roll up our sleeves, and give our green friends the protection they need. Because in the end, the sight of a thriving garden come spring will make it all worthwhile. As the snow melts and spring approaches, we see the fruits of our labor. Each bud that blooms, each leaf that unfurls, is a testament to the care and attention we have lavished on our gardens during the winter months. It's a sight to behold, the resilience and beauty of well-protected plants emerging stronger and more vibrant, ready to greet the spring with open arms. Each garden has its own tale of survival, its own saga of battling the cold and emerging victorious. It's these stories that inspire us that keep us going when the frost bites and the wind howls. And it's these stories we'd love to hear from you. How did you shield your green friends from winter's harsh grip? What innovative solutions did you come up with? How did your garden fare? Remember, every story matters. Every story can inspire someone, can teach someone, can help someone. So share your winter garden care stories. Let your experiences be a beacon for others, guiding them through the frosty landscape, helping them protect their gardens from the cold. After all, we are all gardeners at heart, nurturing, caring, protecting. Our gardens are an extension of us, a reflection of our love for nature. Your garden is a living canvas, and with care and attention it can thrive through every season. Share your winter garden care stories and inspire others to do the same.